Hi everyone. Today in this video, let us discuss the Michaelis Menten equation. Suppose a substrate is going to interact with an enzyme. Now this enzyme can bind to the substrate and it forms a complex and then the substrate can interact with the enzyme so that it can be released as a product. Now the product is going to be released along with the free enzyme. So now the interaction between the enzyme and substrate follows via the kinetics and Michaelis Menten equation gives one type of kinetics where the enzyme reactions show some non-linearity. So non-linear kinetics can be described by Michaelis Menten equation. So today in this video let us see how this Michaelis Menten equation can describe the non-linear kinetics in the enzymatic reactions. So here the substrate is going to interact with the enzyme and they are going to form a product. Now the rate of the reaction can be indicated by minus dc by dt. C indicates the concentration of the substrate. So it is a change of the concentration of the substrate with respect to time. And as the reaction is going to proceed, the substrate concentration is going to decrease and product concentration is going to increase. So here the velocity of the reaction can be indicated by the negative sign. So minus dc by dt is the change of the concentration of the substrate with respect to time. Now this rate of the reaction depends on so many factors and among them two important factors are substrate concentration as well as the enzyme concentration. Now let us see what happens to the velocity of the reaction with respect to the substrate concentration. Suppose we have low concentration of the substrate and these substrate molecules are going to interact with the enzyme molecules and here at the low concentration of the substrate so many enzymes are available for the interaction. Now the substrate is going to bind to the enzyme and you can see that few of the enzymes are still vacant and unoccupied. So at the low concentration of the substrate, the substrate molecules can be completely reacted with the enzyme and they can be converted into products. Now at the low concentration of the substrate, as you are going to increase the concentration, the rate of the reaction increases. Because so many enzymes are available for interaction with the substrate, as we are going to increase the substrate concentration, the rate of the reaction increases. So when we plot a graph between the velocity of the reaction versus the substrate concentration then we will get a straight line passing through the origin at zero concentration zero velocity as you are going to increase the concentration of the substrate the velocity of the reaction increases so here the velocity of the reaction minus dc by dt is directly proportional to the concentration of the substrate so this indicates that the rate of the reaction follows first order kinetics. So in the first order, always the rate of the reaction is directly proportional to the substrate concentration. And here we can observe a straight line passing through the origin. So velocity of the reaction versus substrate concentration gives a straight line that indicates a first order kinetics. And this first order is observed at the low concentrations of the substrate. Now let us take a second case where more number of substrate molecules are present. Now the substrate is present at a medium concentration. Here again the enzymes are same. So now the substrate molecules can bind with the enzymes. And here you can observe that many of these enzymes are occupied and very few substrates are not interacting with the enzymes. But still, when these substrate molecules are going to be converted into products, again few of the free enzymes are available which can interact with the further substrate molecules. So at the medium concentration of the substrate, as we are going to increase the concentration, the rate of the reaction is going to increase, but it is not in a linear way. So again, when we plot a graph between the velocity versus substrate, we can find a second phase where we can observe a non-linearity in the curve. That means as the concentration of the substrate increases, the velocity of the reaction increases, but in a non-linear fashion. That's why here the rate of the reaction minus dc by dt is not directly proportional to concentration. So here it is not following the first order kinetics, but it is going to show some non-linearity which indicates that it is a mixed order kinetic. That means it is neither first order nor zero order. Now let us see so many substrate molecules are there and substrate concentration is present at a high level. Then these substrate molecules are again interacting with the enzymes, but enzymes are capacity limited. That means they have a fixed capacity and you can interact with the fixed number of substrate molecules. But at the high concentration of the substrate, now the substrate molecules can interact with the enzymes and here all the enzymes are occupied and so many substrate molecules are remain unreacted. Now here, whatever the substrate molecules interact with the enzymes can be released as the products, but still so many substrate molecules are not converted into products. So at the high concentration of the substrate, as you increase the concentration of the substrate, the 
velocity of the reaction is not going to be increased and actually the velocity of the reaction remains constant. So when we plot the velocity of the reaction versus substrate, we can observe a third phase and in this third phase we can observe a plateau phase. That means the velocity of the reaction is not going to increase as we are going to increase the substrate concentration but it can be observed as a constant velocity. So the rate of the reaction is equal to Vmax where Vmax is the maximum velocity that can be achieved at a high concentration of the substrate. In this way at high concentration of the substrate the velocity reaches to the, its limiting value which is indicated by Vmax, the maximum velocity of the reaction. Now all these three can be combined in the michaelis menten equation. So michaelis menten equation indicates a mixed order kinetics where a particular enzymatic reaction or a carrier mediated process which are capacity limited can show mixed order kinetics then this michaelis menten equation can describe their kinetics. So according to this equation a substrate molecule can interact with the enzyme and when it is going to bind with this enzyme it can be converted into a another state where the enzyme and substrate are in a transient state and in this transient state the substrate is partially converted and product is partially formed. When this transient state is going to favor the forward reaction then the substrate can be converted into product and product can be released from the enzyme. Now this can be represented in a kinetic equation so enzyme is going to react with the substrate E plus S and they are going to form a complex ES and this enzyme substrate complex can be reconverted into again the free enzyme and substrate by the backward reaction. So the rate of the forward reaction can be given by the rate constant K1 and rate of the backward reaction can be given by the K2. Otherwise this enzyme substrate complex can release the product along with the free enzyme. Now here the rate of the reaction can be indicated by the rate constant K3. In this way a substrate can be converted to product based on the three types of rate constants. Now all these rate constant can be incorporated in the michaelis menten equation. So according to this equation we can write the velocity of the reaction V is equal to Vm into C by Km plus C. Where V is the velocity of the reaction and Vm is the maximum velocity of the reaction and C is the concentration of the substrate. Finally what is Km? Km is called as michaelis constant. According to this reaction, when we plot a graph between the velocity versus substrate, we can observe the three phases. This is the first phase, second phase and third phase. First phase indicates the first order kinetics, second phase indicates the mixed order kinetics and third phase indicates the zero order kinetics. So first phase is the first order which is observed at the low concentration of the substrate. So according to the michaelis menten equation V is equal to Vm into C by Km plus C. Now at the low concentration of the substrate that means the C value is very less then C is very less compared with the Km. Then we can simply write the Km plus C as simply Km. Here the C can be ignored because uh, the value of the C is very less compared with the Km value. So Km plus C is almost equal to Km. Now if we substitute this in the equation the V is equal to Vm into C by Km plus C can be simply written as Km. So which is nothing but V is equal to K into C where K is nothing but the Vm by Km because Vm is the maximum velocity which is a constant and Km is the Michaelis constant which is again constant. So the ratio of these two can be represented as K so V is equal to K into C. That means the velocity of the reaction is directly proportional to the concentration so which indicates it's a first order kinetics. Now let us see the mixed order kinetics. Mixed order can be observed in the second phase where we can observe the medium concentration of the substrate. So according to the michaelis menten equation when the Km as well as C both values are significant because the substrate is present at a medium concentration which is significant then both are going to be involved in the equation which gives a non-linearity and a mixed order kinetics. So here the velocity of the reaction is not directly proportional to the concentration but it shows some non-linearity. Third phase is the zero order. Zero order is observed at the high concentration of the substrate. Again let us modify this michaelis menten equation. So at a high concentration of the substrate now the concentration of the substrate is greater and greater than the Km value so that we can represent the Km plus C as the concentration. So now by substituting the equation the velocity V is equal to Vm into C by C and C and C are going to be cancelled so that the V is equal to Vm. That means the velocity of the reaction is equal to the maximum velocity of the reaction. 
which is a constant so now it follows the zero order kinetics so at a high concentration of the substrate the velocity of the reaction achieves to the maximum velocity and it remains constant what are the concentration of the substrate you are going to increase still the rate of reaction will not increases and it remains constant this is because all the enzymes are occupied and the enzymes are capacity limited so even if you increase the substrate concentration the velocity of the reaction is not going to be increased what is km km is already we know that it is a michaelis constant so let us derive what is the km value so in the michaelis menten equation let us take uh, the c is equal to km that is the concentration of the substrate is equal to the michaelis menten concentration then what happens then we can see that km plus c is equal to because km and c are both are same we can represent c plus c which is nothing but 2c now if we substitute in the equation v is equal to vm into c by 2c so here the concentration terms are going to be cancelled so v is equal to vm by 2 that is the velocity of the reaction is the half of the maximum velocity so now we can define the michaelis constant as it is a concentration of the substrate at which the velocity of the reaction reaches to the half of its maximum velocity that what we call the michaelis constant in this way michaelis menten equation can describe the kinetics of uh, first order mixed order as well as zero order kinetics and particularly this equation is highly useful in the reactions involving the non linear kinetics for example enzymatic reactions otherwise the transport of the molecules through the carriers all these are capacity limited even the metabolism of the drugs is again capacity limited whenever their capacity is going to be limited then they can show the mixed order kinetics which can be described by michaelis menten equation so that's for today if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video